Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel Study at Ease. Today we are going to continue with the chapter Real Numbers. So we're going to start with the next exercise which is 1.2. Before we step into the exercise, we need to go through some of the important topics. Let's see what these are. The fundamental theorem of arithmetic. What does it say? It says Every composite number can be expressed or factorized as a product of primes and its factorization is unique apart from the order in which the prime factor occur. So, we came across some terms like prime, composite, etc. Now, let's see what is a prime number. So, what are prime numbers? Prime numbers are the numbers which have 1 and the number itself as factors. For example, 2, 3, 5, 7, etc. Now, what are composite numbers? Composite numbers are the numbers which have more than 2 numbers as their factors. For example, 4, 6, 9, 10, etc. Let's move on to the questions. The first question Express the number as a product of its prime factors. So this question is from NCRT grade 10, chapter 1, exercise 1.2. So the first question is 140. You're going to express this as a product of prime numbers. So I'm going to follow the tree method. This method is called as a tree method. So 140 will be divided into 2 times 70. So the 2 being a prime will be brought down as it is. The 70 will be split into 2 times 35. Again, the 2 will continue to follow the same path, whereas, again, the two, both the 2s will come down, then 35 will be split into 5, 7. So, 5 and 7 cannot be further split. So, the prime factors of 140 is 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 7. As you see, all the numbers are prime numbers. The second question is, find the LCM and HCF of the following pairs of integers and verify that LCM multiplied by HCF is equal to product of the two numbers. This is also from NCRT grade 10, chapter 1, exercise 1.2. So the first question, 26 and 96, 91. So let's write the factors of 26, which is 2 multiplied by 13. Make sure these are all prime. Now, 91 is equal to 7 multiplied by 13. In these two numbers, okay, you can see that in the factorization, you will find 13 is common. So, the highest common factor or HCF of 26 and 91 is 13. Now, let us find the LCM between 26 and uh, 91. Now, I'm going to follow the ladder method. So, since 13 is common for both, I'm dividing it with 13. So, it becomes 2 and 7. Now, 2 and 7 does not have any common numbers in between them. So, I'm going to multiply. I'm not going to further do it. So, if you see, I have highlighted in pink what all to be multiplied. So, LCM is equal to 2 multiplied by 7 multiplied by 13, which is equal to um, 182. So, according to the question, after finding the LCM and HCF, we have to find the product of HCF and LCM. So, HCF multiplied by LCM is equal to the product of two numbers. That is, 13 multiplied by 182 is equal to 26 multiplied by 91. That is, 13 multiplied by 182, you will get 2366. Similarly, 26 multiplied by 91, we will get 2366. Hence, we have verified. Let us look at the third question. Find the LCM and HCF of the following integers by applying the prime factorization method. Okay, so this is also from the NCRT grade 10, chapter 1, exercise 1.2. So the first question is, 12, 15, and 21. So, the first step, we are going to list the factors of the three numbers. So, 12 is equal to 2 times 2 times 3. And 15 is equal to five, 3 times 5. 
and uh, 21 is equal to 3 times 7. Now, in the all three numbers, you will see that 3 is common. So, let's circle them. Yes. So, that means the highest common factor or the HCF of 12, 15 and 21 is equal to 3. Now, we have to find the LCM. So, what method are we going to use for the LCM? We're going to use the ladder method. So, I'm writing the three numbers, I'm drawing the lines. Now, I'm taking the common number first. I'm taking 3. So, it becomes 4, 5, 7. Now, 4, 5, 7. There's nothing common. So, I'm stopping at this point. I'm going to draw the ladder. I'm going to multiply it. So, So now the LCM of 12, 15 and 21 is equal to 3 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 7 which is equal to 420. Let us look at the fourth question. Given that HCF of 306 and 657 is equal to 9, find the LCM. So, HCF is given as 9. We don't know what is LCM and we know the two numbers. So, we know our formula, isn't it? That is, HCF multiplied by LCM is equal to product of two numbers. Okay. So, HCF is 9. Let us write that. 9 multiplied by, let the LCM remain as LCM, is equal to 306 multiplied by 657 now something which is on multiplication when it goes to the other side will become division so lcm is equal to 306 multiplied by 657 divided by 9 on dividing you will see that the answer is 222338 so we found the lcm Check whether 6 raised to n can end with the digit 0 for any natural number n. So now, if a number ends with 0, then that means the number is divisible by 10. Okay, that is the divisibility rule. So 10 means 10 is equal to 2 times 5. Okay, now let's see what are the factors in 6 raised to n. So 6 raised to n is equal to 2 times 3, the whole raised to n, isn't it? But we find a 2, but we don't have a 5. That means... 6 raised to n is not divisible by 5. Hence, we can say that 6 raised to n cannot end with a digit 0. For any natural number, n. That's the end of today's sessions. So we'll meet with the next exercise in the next class. Now, if you have any doubts or you want me to explain anything further, please comment below. And please do not forget to like, share and subscribe. See you in the next class. Bye.